Hello everyone, and welcome to Power Apps Portals Tips. My name is Nicholas Hayduk, and this is tip number 89, Custom Domain. Part of creating a Power Apps Portal is setting up the URL that will be used to access it. The initial setup includes creating an address that is a subdomain of powerappsportals.com. In previous incarnations of the product, the URL was microsoftcrmportals.com. However, in most cases you'll want to set up a custom domain on your portal that is a subdomain of your organization's root domain. For example, portal.yourdomain.com. The setup of your custom domain is done in the Power Apps Portal Admin Center. The easiest way to do it is to follow the Add a Custom Domain Name wizard available on the Portal's Actions page. The first step is to choose your SSL certificate. If you've already uploaded one, you can select it here, or you can upload a new one. SSL certificates must be uploaded as password-protected PFX files. Refer to the documentation for more details on the requirements for the SSL certificate. Next, select your hostname. Again, you can choose an existing one or create one. Your desired subdomain must be set up as a CNAME record that points to your powerappsportals.com subdomain. The next step is to review the setup and create the bindings. With that complete, your portal will now be available at your custom domain. It's important to note that you can only have one custom domain per portal. Your portal must also be in a production state. Trial portals are not eligible for custom domains. Thanks for watching, and I hope you found the PowerApps Portals tip number 89 on custom domain useful.